Ciao ragazzi and welcome to another video with Lempis and baby Olivia. This video is sponsored by a brand called Mom Cozy. Uh, gift me this um, electric pump that I've been using for over the past three months. I would say it's at the moment my best pump to use when I am on the road going back to work. Yeah, so this is the power button, this is the massage button, then there's the expression button, and then the plus and minus for the intensity. I pump somewhere between three. And I keep it like this, easy peasy, in a normal bra. I put it on like that and I can go around my day and do whatever I want. And apart from that, Mama Kosi also gifted me this bra. If you're pumping with the bottles, you know, like if you have here, in the bottles. I have to say when I first saw it, it looked a little bit strange, different from the other bras that I've used before, but it's actually very, very nice and very stable. And I like that it has like a normal bra, I just put it around and then hold the bottles which is very easy if i'm using the classical pump super easy to use i love this and it comes with an extendable if you no 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 if you need more room here you me check this is how much we have got at the moment about five minutes we will just go ahead and detach this that's all you need this part goes on the cable for charging and then there's a small outlet here that you just okay i don't want to spill my milk all over the place but this bit here this outlet here directly in the bottle this one you put it on the charger until next time and that's it house i have a discount coupon for you of course in the description box below and there you can get 20 percent off with lengthy's discount coupon you don't think i can show the money today what is that yeah why what is that I'm a new mom. My daughter Olivia is four months old. And so we have been only pumping and supplying milk in a bottle. I have about three different pumps. It just, you have to make sure that um, you have the right pump for you. By the right pump, I mean that you need a strong pump that is able to empty the, the breast every time you're pumping. So with that, the milk supply is continuously there. And then the right pump is also the pump that is um, suitable for you to pump as often as needed. Like you need to always pump, uh, how would I put it? Uh, something that makes your life easier for you to pump almost as often as you would mimic a mother that is breastfeeding. Especially at the, at the beginning. The first two months when I was at home I used a classical medela pump a very strong one it's very good and I think it's good to create milk stability but the issue is that because it has a cable and these long pipes that you need to attach to your bra and stuff I needed to always sit down and then pump for 15 minutes attaching the stuff to the bottle to your nipples and pumping and waiting the end of the stay of the pumping stage and then detaching everything so i would say about 20 minutes nice but it was just not appropriate when i started working pump and when i don't have time to pump this is a very very strong pump i just put this in my bra sit in my car start driving 15 minutes later stop it you know i just really stop on the roadside like at the uh, fuel station remove this pour the milk in the in a bottle and then go to work when I'm at work I literally put this uh, wash this with boiling water and I'm done like when I come home I can be like playing with the baby while I'm pumping because the pump is just stable in my bra and this allow me to maintain the consistency like I'm still pumping as often as possible I now pump at 6 when I wake up. Immediately when I wake up, I pump. Then I go shower before I go to work. And then I pump at 12 when I take my lunch break. And then I also pump at 4 when I get back home. And then at 8. And um, somewhere between 10 and 11.30 before I go to bed. That's how my pumping schedule is at the moment. 
the milk has reduced a bit to somewhere between 800 to 600 ml and it's still sufficient for baby i'm just not freezing anymore so i'm not um freezing milk anymore i'm just producing enough for the baby it happens sometimes that i'm really I get so busy and maybe I go for eight hours without pumping, but I hate that it has, it has happened so far, maybe once or twice, I hate that. If you're pumping and you want to keep your milk supply, you have to make sure that you have the right pump. I think this is the first thing, right pump. Second thing is that you want to have, um, to make sure that you're pumping every three to four hours at the beginning and later on you can just like reduce your pumping section and then maybe increase the time if you feel like the milk supply is reducing once you have, you have a feeling, especially somewhere between when the child is three, two to three months, you can reduce the pumps. And then the another thing that might influence your supply, this is, has nothing to do with exclusive pumping, it's also just if you are breastfeeding, but I think when you're pumping, sometimes you don't have the feeling of I'm breastfeeding and maybe you don't take a, uh, this thing serious make sure that you still drink enough water i drink about three liters of water a day and i also make sure that i eat when i started working i used to go to work sometimes especially the first two weeks a lot of work to be done because i've been away for a while and then i would just go from eight in the morning to 12 without eating anything and then when i pump at 12 i don't have milk so now I always have food on the go ready for me to eat. Even I have some smoothies in the car. If I'm not able to just really stop, sit down, take a break somewhere, I will just drink something. It's easier to, you know, drink something, sit and drink something than, you know, taking time to, to eat. Um, another thing that is also very important and was also sponsored by Mom Kosi is of course you want to be able to be pumping while you're doing other things then you need a very perfect nursing <laughs> a very good um bra that can hold your that can hold the pump and i have this one here also sponsored by mom because they sent me two of this no more bra for pumping no 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 olivia this is not for you where are you going where are you going where are you going why are you so excited yeah so this is a medium sized bra it's just in a form of a oops i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm <laughs> sorry it's a, in a form of a normal bra like this is how it is and in the mirror here it's a form of a of a laugh and then you just clip it at the back. I really love this because back in the day I had something that looked like a sport bra and that was challenging at work to, for me to change from my normal bra to a nursing bra. So this one is easy. I find it very easy because it's like a normal bra. You put it just around your, uh, below the breast and then you, you, you know, you put it on. It's easy and it's quite stable. Also, if I'm pumping at home and I have the pump in here, I can just be doing whatever I want to do and I don't worry about uh, about the, the pump or the bottles falling. It's quite stable. It also comes with uh, this little stuff, which is just if you have, uh, I think this is useful at the beginning when you start pumping, especially this month when you have always a lot of milk. I didn't have this problem, so I never used this one. I also bought some extra before that I bought at the beginning when I just when I was preparing for the baby but I never used them. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> no, you don't think it's cute. Mm -hmm. Olivia really loved this pub. <laughs> so this is the only pump that I have that is a single pump. You can buy like two of this so you can use them at the same time. I use only one of these. But it's fine, I have one breast that is producing, let me say, about 70% of the milk, the other one is the 30%. I just start there, and then I continue doing whatever I'm doing, and then put it in the other side. I don't mind having this as a single pump, because I don't need to sit down when I'm using it and stop whatever I'm doing. So this is not a problem. But if you have like a classical pump, you need to buy a double, the one that you're able to use on both breasts at the same time. If you're not able to, to breastfeed, then just use the pump, it's also okay. 
yes those are my tips and that's how i've been doing it and i'm hoping that i'm still going to be able to supply baby olivia with milk up to six months and then stop we start eating mahango porridge see you in our next video olivia really want mama to go see you in our next video more ciao ciao ciao